How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today, I'm going to talk about myself actually, because in the comment section, a lot of people are wondering who the heck am I? Some guy uploading all these videos about finances and you happen to watch a lot of them and you just want to know, well, more about myself, I guess. I started making videos about three and a half years ago and I started making do-it-yourself videos, just really random stuff all over the place and some of them happen to be finance videos and eventually this channel morphed into a finance only channel and I separated out a do-it-yourself channel off to the side so I have two channels right now. If you're interested in my other channel, I generally do do-it-yourself videos, product reviews, cooking and the like, anything that has no ties to finance whatsoever, I put all of those into my do-it-yourself channel and I'll leave a link over here. Along the way, I'm getting more and more subscribers and sometimes I have the video sponsored such as this My Maps map over here. These companies that choose to sponsor my video allows me to be able to produce more of what I do. So sometimes it might be a little bit of a diversion, so I'm gonna try and keep it really short whenever I introduce a brand new product or a sponsor. As a tie-in, this map is one of those world maps where you put it on your wall and you scratch off all the places that you've been to. So I'm gonna unbox this really quickly just to show you what's inside and then show you the places I've actually been around the world. So it comes in this tube, logo looks like this, end cap looks like this, the map itself. This is more like an accessory pack, there's a little piece of thing here, a piece of felt, and then there's also a bunch of pins over here, and also this metal scratcher pick thing that looks like a guitar pick. These two stickers and this square thing. It's held together by the rubber band. Here's a my map black version. Now I've never had one of these scratch off maps before. I've been to Japan, but not necessarily the entire country. I've never been to Sapporo, nor have I been to all these little tiny islands. So I wonder where you're supposed to scratch off. Anyway, let me just try to scratch off a little bit and see. Let's just say I've been there, just kind of in that general area. So here's the stuff that comes off. It's just falling off down to the floor right now. I'm scratching more of the Japan off up top. Taiwan. I've been to Sydney and Melbourne. For New Zealand, I've been to the North Island. South Korea. I've been to Shanghai. I assume I don't really scratch out all of China, just this little region here. i also been to Hong Kong, but then it's such a small dot, you can't even see it here. I've also been to Singapore, but it's also really tiny, so you can't even see it here either. I've been to Hawaii, the main island, Oahu. If you guys didn't know, I'm actually in California right here. I'm actually in the Bay Area, so I'm right over here. But I've been all over California. I've been to LA, I've been to uh, Nevada, Oregon. I remember going on some sort of Mexican cruise, but I forgot all the islands as well as the Caribbean cruise, but I forgot all the islands I went there too, so I'm not gonna do that right now. But basically, I am not a very well-traveled person. I've been to mostly in the Asia area, various cruises, and that's it. I've missed out basically all of Africa, never been to Russia, never been to Europe even, and I haven't really visited that many different states either. So there you go, I don't travel all that much and you'll know this already from my travel credit cards videos. If you're interested in this particular scratch off map from my maps, don't forget to check out their product down in the video description below and I'll have an affiliate link down there to link you to this product. If you watch every single one of my videos, you would probably catch on and know a little tidbit of information from every single little video. I have previously said that my day job is actually an engineer, but I have not said which kind yet. I can actually program, I can actually fix electrical things, I can fix mechanical things, I can also do 3D CAD modeling as well as fix almost anything basically. This whole set you see here is being filmed in my living room in my home that I own myself. I drive a 2001 Porsche Boxer that I bought for $20,000 about 10 years ago. The mileage it had on it was about 24,000 miles and right now it has about 155,000 miles. Now this goes with my philosophy of where you should really buy a used car and just drive it until it's dead. Just drive it as long as you can in order to save the most money. I was born in Hong Kong but I moved to the States when I was a little kid so my English is basically fluent here because I've stayed here for so long. In one of my previous videos I exposed the fact that I actually gained a net worth of 37% compounded annual growth rate. If you look at my net worth it's gaining by that much every single year for the past seven years. In a previous video I also stated that I save 100% of my job income. Now this is my daytime job as an engineer. I save all of that. All of that gets put in my bank. You can see how big that is because as an engineer, 
um, I make quite a bit and all of that gets funneled into a bank account because I basically don't touch any of it. All of my external expenses, all my expenses is basically covered by my investment gains, by YouTube, by doing Craigslist, eBay, um, resell stuff on a little bit on the side. My expenditure is actually really low in my point of view compared to other engineers and I outline every single thing that I spend money on in that particular video in that 100% uh, saved income video and I'll leave that over here. In a sense, I live pretty frugally compared to all the other engineers. And in my net worth video, I expose the fact that I am increasing my net worth at an alarmingly fast rate. I never expose the actual net worth and this is actually by design and I am very, very careful to not give data points so that anyone can just sort of triangulate how much I actually have. And I am not quite ready to share this yet, but maybe in the future, um, I might actually share salary information, net worth information. I just have not decided yet. And right now, um, to me, I'm just not ready to share that right now. At one point, I received a credit score of 848 out of 850. And I made a video about this. And I started making a lot of videos about how people can improve their credit score as well. With all my credit card churning these days, it's hovering about 835. But I don't really care about my credit score. I don't really need to go and um, go get a car loan or anything. I already have a car, um, the home here, I already own this, so then I don't really need to get an additional loan. Most of my credit score improvement videos is based on where you currently are at with your credit score because depending on what your score currently is, you may need to do different tactics, different strategies. And I made different videos based on what situation you're in. So there's a lot of different videos for that. I have given one-on-one -on -one coaching for people's finances. People just come to me, they're interested based on my videos and then so I work with them one-on-one -on -one and I charge a flat rate hourly fee. I also give credit card improvement pointers through my Patreon depending on which tier you're at. By the way, out of all this, I am not legally able to give any kind of very specific investment advice. For example, I cannot tell you, oh, you should go um, buy more gold or go buy more um, a certain fund or something because this is um, a legal issue thing. So I can give you a general idea of what people normally buy, but then I can't work with one on one to one person and say, oh, you're, you know, you're buying too much of this, you're investing wrong, you should really uh, put your money in this thing. Most of the time when you work with an advisor, they would try to sell you funds, but on the back end, you would not know that they're actually making a lot of money off of you. I don't have any of these funds where I can sell you that I can make money off of. So whenever I do recommend something, um, online or um, in videos or something. It's really just, okay, anybody can buy these. I do not get a fee or anything from selling these funds. So most of these things you can pick up basically through all the videos. If you watch all 430 some videos, you would pick up on these things. If we were to ever hang out one day, you would notice really soon that I am a very strange person. A friend once told me that they were just shopping in a gift shop and you know me, I don't really care about gift shop. I don't wanna buy any more junk. I was just standing outside and staring off in the space because I have a whole bunch of different things I need to think about and I just pulled it out of my phone and go, oh yeah, I need to think about this topic or that topic. Okay, after I get the topic, I put my phone away and I start staring off in the space and go, mm, you know, think, you know, this is just what I do. I might not, you know, make furrow brows or anything. I'll just kind of like look off into space and, you know, just, you know, do that for like many, many minutes at a time. Anyway, that's all I ever do. And these guys over here are my stuffed animal mascots that appear in most of my finance videos. These are peas in a pod over here. I call this guy T-Rex. People think it's gone from Tekken. This one is Ice Bat. Um, this is actually an ugly doll. There is a plush T-bone steak over here. This thing is the pod for the peas. These shares I bought on Amazon, I forget how much they were. I think combined they're like less than a thousand dollars. This is a really old table that used to have a really ugly stain on it and I just used white paint, painted over this and voila, brand new table. This is a free lamp I got when my friend moved away and over there it's a pizza floaty that I used to float on a river just last weekend. This is why I have a slight tan. So that's quite a bit of information about myself financially, um, personally. It's a lot more than I would ever put up um, in the very beginning. I got more and more used to it. And over these 400 videos, I just kind of like released a little bit at a time. And this video is just basically 
a summary of all of this stuff and when I'm ready to share more stuff I certainly will and perhaps I'll make another one of these videos. Give me a like on this video, comment down below, let me know if you have any other questions about who the heck I am. Well, I cannot promise to answer every single question but I will keep it in mind and try to release more and more as I go. If you're interested in supporting this channel, don't forget to check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook and if you don't like the audiobook or the service, you can cancel it and you will not have to owe a thing. You can still keep the audiobook and still help benefit this channel. If you're interested in getting some personalized attention for improving your credit score, you can check out my Patreon over here where I offer those kind of perks um, at various contribution levels. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get new notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.